onto your hands and knees and pull your tummy muscles in and just start by rotating your wrist. Just make sure your wrist is mobile, both directions. And then the other hand. Good. Bring your hands to rest directly underneath your shoulder, your middle finger pointing forward. And I'm going to lift my front knee and take it out to the side, bend it and rest it on the floor. Then I'll do the same with the other leg, lift the back knee, take the toe or the leg out to the side, bend the knee and then bring the knees down, push back. Take a moment, I know, I know, I'm giving you such a lovely rest and a stretch. Push your bum back, your arms forward. Before we do that again, climb up onto your hands and knees. So the front knee or the knee nearest knee, bend the knee in towards your elbow. Now take the leg to the side, tuck the knee underneath your body and bring the knee to the floor. Other knee, pull it in. Take it out, how far out can you go? Can you land the big toe? Knee in and sit back. Good, so we'll get used to that rhythm. Up onto your hands and knees, knee in. Out, big toe can rest on the floor, knee in and land. And the other side, knee, extend, knee and push your bum back. Breathe out, add in the opposite arm. So keep your back still. So I'm going to take my front knee, my opposite arm, hold, just get your balance. Keep your arm out to the side, palm down, and extend the leg to the opposite side. Arm one way, leg the other, bend the knee. Knee and hand come down. Let's do that on the other side. Arm to the side, knee lifts. Leg to the side, arm stays where it is. Bend the knee, hand and knee come down, push your bum back, let the breath go. Inhale, climb up. Opposite arm, lift the knee. Extend the leg. So I could see some of you were lifting your leg off the floor, which is incredible. Bend the knee, lower arm and knee. <coughs> Other side, opposite, extend. Bend, sit back, breathe out. Inhale, climb up. Opposite arm and knee. Extend the leg, lift a little higher. Bend the knee, hand and knee lower. Other side, knee lift. Extend the leg to the side, bend the knee. Sit back and recover, two more. Climb up onto your hands and knees. Opposite arm. Extend the legs. So keep the body square as you do that. Other side. Keep your hips facing down, your shoulders and your eye gaze facing down. And then rotate the wrists. Before you finish with your last one, up onto your hands and knees. Knee. Extend knee and other side, knee, extend, knee and rest. Well done, rotate the wrists, let your bottom release, so take your toes together, your knees as wide as you can. So the challenge, and you knew there would be one, is to come up onto your hands and knees, lift the front knee and the opposite arm, palm down, I'm going to extend the leg to the side and I'm going to circle. Five, four, three, two. Now circle the other way. Five, four. Keep the chest up. Three, two, one. Bring the knee and the hands down. Do the other side before you rest. Opposite arm and leg. Extend the leg to the side. Circle. Five, four. Chest up. Arm strong. Now take the leg the other way, five, squeeze the bum, four, three, two, one. Now rest. Sit back, rotate the wrists, 
So what we're doing is we're improving the strength of our glutes, which will help to support the hips, but we're also working our core. Off we go again, front knee, <coughs> opposite arm, leg out to the side, give me bigger circles, five, chest up, four, three, arm to the side, two, one, circle the other way, five. Holding this posture is core strength. Good work, push your other hand into the floor, bring the hand and the knee down before, other side, arm, leg, Circle, five, four, three, two, and round the other way, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We'll do that one more time, one more sequence through. So sit back and rest, stretch, and climb up when you're ready. Arm, leg. Circle, five, four, three, two, one. Other way, five, four, three, two, one. Hand and knee down. Careful in the transition. Keep the body still, keep the eye gaze on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. And the other way, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Good bum work. Toes together, arms forward, push your bottom back. Lovely. So change the exercise. Take the hands out to the outer edge of your mat. Bend your elbows and drag your foot chest across the mat, sorry. Your chest lines up with your hands and then push up, press up, that's it. And slowly bring your bum back to your heels. So take your time with this one. Not your foot, your chest, just so you know. <laughs> bring your chest forward so your chest lines up with your hands. Now lift up, well done Mandy. And then press back. So your hands are on the outer edge of your mat. That means you've got a wide hand stance, which means that your chest will work a little bit more. So you draw yourself across the floor, you hold towards the floor, then you give it some welly and push up, and then you push your bum back and breathe out. Keep going forward with the chest, Line up with the hands, push up and press back. Forward, push up and press back. Four more like that, elbows high, that's how we start. The elbows turn up to face the sky. The chest runs through, lines up with your hands, and then you press up. You'd be better taking your hands wider, Sarah. Might make it a little bit easier. Yeah, good. Chest across the floor. You've got two more to finish. Chest across the floor. And one last one. One last one. Draw it forward, hold, and rest. A lovely chest stretch. You can sit back on your heels, thumbs up, and open across your chest. And then bring the back of your hands together and push your palms away. Good, so we'll try that again. Thumbs up, palms in. Open your chest. Back of your hands together and push your palms away. Good, so roll your shoulders, be comfortable in your shoulders. I'm going to bring my knees in and climb up onto your knees. Now, if you need to put a towel or something underneath your knees, do so. You need to take a seat, that's fine. I'm going to push my bottom towards my... Yeah, I've got it the right way around. Come on, my heels are <laughs> Bum towards your heels and then climb up. That's all there is to a level one, and that should ignite your quads. It should 
feel really strong in your thighs, but I'm going to add to it. So your toes are comfortable, your knees are fairly comfortable, the weight is going into your legs, then lift your elbows. Elbows in line with shoulders. Give me four of those, just push your bum back whilst keeping your elbows up. Can you do that? Push your bum back, so you tip forward naturally, and you can feel, can't you, the muscles in your back, all the way down your spine working hard. And it's also abdominal work, as well as arm work and back work. So I'm not letting my bum land, I'm keeping my bottom off of my heels. And then reach the arms up and have a big stretch. So level one is just pushing your bum to your heels. Level two is elbows to the side. Level three is bring the elbow across. And then climb up. Good. And then the other elbow to opposite knee and climb up. And give yourself a big stretch in the middle. And do that again. So elbow across. Climb up elbow across, so you're working your obliques and your thighs, look up, as well as your arms. Keep that going, elbow goes across, breathe out, climb up, keep your bottom off your heels, climb up to the sky, and give your bottom a squeeze to release your hips, arms, elbows in line with shoulders, drop across, climb up. Drop across, climb up, now reach up, all the way up. I'd love to do five more of these, are we in for that? Hands up if you are, good egg. <laughs> and the other side, oh, feel that thoracic rotation as well? Oh, lift the arms, elbows in line with shoulders, over you go. Can you feel yourself getting lower? I'm definitely getting closer to my destination. Lift the arms, push the hips forward, give the bum a squeeze. That helps to reset the hips. Elbow across. Breathe out, elbow across. Lift the arms, squeeze the bum, look up if you can, and reset. Across, climb up. Across, climb up, go for the stretch, and bend the elbows. This is your last one, go across, breathe out. Go across, breathe out. Give your bottom a squeeze, pause, and then lift and stretch. Okay, hands all the way down, come onto all fours again, and this time we're just going to massage the knees. On all fours, massage the knee, circle. Circle and push the knee into the floor and then circle the other way and push the knee. You're massaging, we're not putting a lot of effort into it, not putting a lot of pressure, we're just noticing. What do you notice about your knees? Are they comfortable doing this? No, they hate it, don't do it. Sit back and rest. If they're comfortable, you're enjoying it, and you've got that kind of strange, masochistic side to your personality, okay. lift up your feet. <laughs> I can see your face. Lift up your toes, which means keep the knees into the towel, into the mat, and make the circle big. What's going on for your knees? This is very personal. If it's crunching in a very sickening way, I would advise you stop. <laughs> if you're getting a lot of uh, comfort from it, keep going. So circle both directions, massaging the knees. A little bit of pressure on the knee now because you've lifted your foot or your feet. And then rest. Sit back, bum back, arms forward. Good work. Lie down on your tummy. Relax your feet on the floor. Relax your knees on the floor. And just move your hips side to side. I've got my elbows underneath my shoulders. My hands are clasped. Thumbs 
line up with your nose and scoop your tummy off the floor and rest your tummy down. Scoop your tummy off the floor, that's it, and let it rest. The technique here is threefold. Pull the tummy in and keep the pubic bone on the floor. Secondly, breathe out as you do that. So pull the tummy in and keep the pubic bone down and breathe out. And thirdly, line your nose up with your thumbs. Broaden your shoulders, so there's four. Let's have another one. Broaden your shoulders. Now begin the journey onto your knees. Now after that knee exercise, if you're not comfortable with that, that's fine. Just pop straight up onto your toes and then lower. <laughs> So pull your tummy in <laughs> onto your knees and then roll down. So remember all the things that we talked about. Tummy muscles tight. Breathe out. Line your nose up with your thumbs and rest. Five more of those. Don't have to hold for very long. You can get to that posture and then rest. Check out your elbows. Do you feel supported? Are the elbows underneath your shoulders or are they too far apart? Good. I know you're itching to do this, so your final level is to go from knees, curl the toes to lift the knees, bring the knees down and very carefully lower to the floor. And keep that rhythm, that pace going. A pace that's comfortable and works for you with your breath. Good, that looks fabulous. Knees, maybe onto your toes, down to your knees, and rest. Two more, knees, onto your toes, onto your knees, and this is your last one. Hold, and rest. What do you need? Is it pose of a child? or do you just want to lie down on your front? Again, good time for some water. Now we'll do a little thigh stretch. And we can do that lying on your tummy, but I'll also show you the other option, lying on your side, picking up your front foot, your top foot and rolling back. So you can do it on your side like this or, sorry Jill, <laughs> like this, or you can roll onto your tummy, bring one hand forward, and just hold the leggings, trousers, or foot. Don't put any effort into it yet. Well done, Beverly. Hold it there. Then when you're comfortable, if you're lying on your side, push your foot further away from your bum, perfect. If you're lying on your tummy, Keep the hip down and lift the thigh. Easier said than done. So just work with what you've got this morning. Hold it for a few seconds. Remember this is such a valuable stretch. Gets rid of all the tension in the front of the hip. Stretches out those four big muscles of your thigh. Let's swap. Either roll over and go the other side. Just hold the foot, no effort. So maybe it's the leggings, maybe it's the foot. There's no effort. If you're lying on your side, you push your bum further away from your, sorry, your foot further away from your bum. If you're lying on your tummy, you keep your hip on the floor and you lift the thigh. Again, easier said than done. Hold it, pause, feel the stretch, feel the benefit of what you're doing, the opening up. Some of you might want to bring both hands back. Work to flex the feet. That means feet up to the ceiling. Shoulders roll back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then come into your perfect restorative pose. Is it pose of a child or is it lying down on your tummy? Find that peace and restoration.